Hello, thank you for watching. This is Dr. Avila from Mexico once more. Welcome to my new video. I'm glad for two reasons. And first of all, it's my fifth drilling tutorial. Second, it seems that no one had proposed something similar before. I know that many of you used to drill the way we are learning here a long ago. So, um, and perhaps some of you will say, I used to do it even before you were born, but no public data is available. I could not find a place uh, where someone describes the way we're mastering this skill together to make the most extreme conversions. Therefore, each time there are more subscribers on this channel, and believe me, it feels incredible. That's how I, I really know if, if you liked what you saw. In fact, the following tutorial of the missing things of this video will be for subscribers only, and uh, that, that's the way I, would, I can thank them. That's the way I can say I thank you for your interest and your support. So, don't forget to subscribe, it's the best way to support this course. It was impossible to record everything in one single tutorial. I, it would have lasted about half an hour. Let's be honest, who keeps watching a video after 10 minutes? For God's sake, it's not you porn. On that website, time is not a problem. So I guess I will make another one just in case you want to see how to make the weapons and the shoulder pad. But uh, don't worry, the most important things to see about this conversion are on this video. Just another thing, um, to drill on plastic is a real pain in the ass. It gets hot, it melts. So I decided to get that part of, of the video and I'm referring to the hood. This is the first Dark Angels model I assembled in my whole life. A few days ago, Rob Bear released an amazing tutorial about the Dark Angels champion. I simply loved it. It preserves uh, the 40k concept. It's a different approach, so now you can pick one or, or both uh, and try them. It's all about the hobby. Perhaps you love sculpting or perhaps I can awaken that interest in drilling. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed it. I was really surprised about the preview I published a few days ago because even if Photoworld made a comment on it, they said, very cool, paint it. I've never seen something like that before, but perhaps I'm getting excited about this, something that happens very often. I'm not sure about it. Moving on, today's tutorial will be in English again due to all of the comments received when I was speaking Italian and German. Don't worry if you don't understand other videos. I, I don't say many important things. I'm just talking about the aim of these videos and the contents. Um, sometimes I make jokes. Now, as we all know, what we all like is to personalize our miniatures. I, I don't play or paint, but I enjoy a lot of making conversions. Therefore, uh, don't feel angry at me if I destroy expensive models on the making of uh, this or any video. I prefer one miniature of the likes of me than a dozen that haven't got anything special on them. When I was 14, I destroyed a whole unit of Terminators in order to replace the real wheels of my bikes. The guys I used to play with uh, almost killed me, of course. The image of the um, model we intend to convert uh, was extracted from collected visions. I was so amazed about that image that, that I thought for several days how to make it possible. Just as a disclaimer, all of the models you see here are genuine Fudge World miniatures. If you don't believe me, you can write the company and ask them for how often I order stuff. I really don't mind. Otherwise, I would not probably dare to send them to my conversions. Second disclaimer, these models are not for sale. Many people have asked about it. It's a big compliment for me, uh, but it's impossible. Sorry. However, if you've got special interest on seeing a conversion or a concept out, we can discuss about the models required and you can send the order to my place so we can make it happen in the eyes of everyone. I've got almost every model of the 30k universe so I don't expect this to happen very often. Just uh, send me what you've got in mind and, and I'll find a way. Just uh, think that if you send me something and if you live in Australia it will be perhaps more expensive to send it back than ordering an, another one. As you can see on the photographs, I had to readapt the features of the original concept. I mean, it must be of the likes of it. Concept art is just to get the inspiration. It mustn't be one-to-one -one like the one in the original image, and you can change your mind if, if, the, if the pose doesn't match the items. The sword and the shield were adapted to preserve the, the essence of the 30K models. 
I was told several times to add more iconography, but in my opinion I respected it, the general features of aesthetics. To be quite honest, there isn't much to say. That's it for today guys, it's my pleasure to have an audience that uh, finds interesting the things that you do. Hopefully you can apply it someday, it doesn't matter if, if you play Space Marines or any other army, including the Age of Sigma, uh, these tutorials could be of use for any of you. I had a delay on the release of this video because I was on the beach with hot chicks, so I really appreciate you, but if I had to choose again, I'd do it again. It would be great if you leave co some comments. I can't uh, always answer, but I promise I will do it as, as soon as possible. So, see you next week and don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye!